Some towns and localities in the U.S. are finally making a move on paid sick days by law. Now, this is actually something that only the United States, in terms of the other modernized industrial nations, we haven't caught on to this yet. This idea that, hey, you know what, maybe you shouldn't leave it up to your employer out of the kindness of their heart to say, oh, you're sick, uh, you will still get paid, you have paid uh, sick days. If you leave it up to the private corporations and the business owners, what are they going to say? Look, they have a, a fiduciary responsibility to increase the bottom line, which means they're going to try to make your ass work as much no matter what. Now, of course, there are exceptions to that, and there are some businesses that will treat people better than other businesses. I'm not here making an absolute statement, but I'm saying in the aggregate, oh, there's no question. If you leave it up to the corporations, they're going to side more heavily on the side of Let's try to limit as much time off as we possibly can. Well, if you look at places like France or Britain or Norway or Denmark or Iceland or Sweden or Australia or any of the other industrialized countries, they have uh, either paid vacation days or paid sick days or both mandated by law, right? The U.S. is sorely lacking in that area. So there's a few areas, uh, certain localities and cities that just recently passed very, very modest paid sick uh, day laws. So um, it's kind of like a snowball effect now and it's spilling over into other areas, which means of course Republicans are trying to kill it. So uh, Florida State House Majority Leader Steve Precourt has noticed the trend moving towards that as well. Now Precourt is very cozy with the group called ALEC. For those of you who don't know ALEC, it's technically the American Legislative Exchange Council. And essentially what it is, is a, a group, a club of uh, business representatives, lobbyists from uh, businesses, and politicians. And I mean, what ends up going on, they might dispute this, but they'd be wrong because we have the evidence, we've seen what goes on in the meetings. Essentially what goes on is the, repre the representatives of the corporations just basically wine and dine and give perks to the politicians and then the politicians end up passing their agenda, passing laws that are in favor of these businesses. So um, there's been a recent grassroots uh, movement in Florida which has led to a, a push to put a paid sick leave initiative on the ballot in terms of a direct ballot initiative. So even in pre-court's own district the paid sick leave initiative garnered 50,000 signatures in just one district. That is a tremendous number. So what is Precourt doing in response? He's killing it. Now, the reason why this story is even more fascinating is because it's not just that he's saying, oh, look, I'll vote against it if it comes up. You know what he's doing? He's preemptively killing it. He's actually proposed what's called a preemption bill and the law says any law passed in the future regarding paid sick days are now null and void. 